What's up everyone, this is Movie and Game Lover 98 and today I'll be doing a movie review on this Universal film from 1985, and that's called The Breakfast Club. So yep, let's get started, and I hope you guys hopefully like this movie review, hopefully. So yep, here's what my copy of the movie looks like. The history on The Breakfast Club, it first came out, well, on the day after Valentine's Day 1985, aka February 15th, 1985, yeah. And then it was released onto VHS, probably the same year, but probably maybe after that. And it was released on sometime in 2003, so many decades after that. And then it was released onto DVD again in 2008. And then it was released onto Blu-ray as part of the 25th anniversary in 2010. And then it was released onto a 100th anniversary Blu-ray in 2012. And then it was released onto a 30th anniversary Blu-ray in 2015, which is the version I have. And then it was released on to Blu-ray once more sometime after that, many years later. So, yep, that was the history. Now, let's look at my copy. Then we'll get in with the plot of this movie. So, yep, here's what my copy looks like. This is the 30th anniversary edition Blu-ray from 2015. Blu-ray plus digital HD, no DVD, that's okay. Stars these characters, Emilio Estevez, Molly Ringwald, and Anthony Michael Hall as some other people. The Breakfast Club and a bunch of... Letters in the background, 30th Anniversary Edition, and you got the main players of the movie, and it says Newly Restored plus All New Trivia Track, and Ultra HD with, with Ultraviolet, yeah, Digital HD with Ultraviolet, anyway, here's the front, spine, careful picture of some, one, two of the characters from the front, and the other spine with the other characters, yeah, anyway, here's the back cover. It says digitally mastered and fully restored from high resolution. You know what it is because this is about Blu-ray. And it says the best high school movie of all time it says Entertainment Weekly. And you got some snapshots from the movie. You have the main five characters sitting on top of the balcony of the library. And you got these three high school students doing something interesting. And you look at bonus features and think about ultraviolet. But, but you know how to use it because I just don't know how to use digital HD because I'm not a big fan of that. Anyway, here's the actual Blu-ray case. There's the rest of your legalese. Anyway, here's the disc. Simple clear disc because that's what Blu-rays are for Universal. Not like with Thomas ones where they did do artwork. But anyway, yep, let's get in with the plot of The Breakfast Club. It starts off with these five students who have to attend a Saturday detention at the high school for these reasons that they caused at school. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother saying their names because I just... They just don't even say, mention their names in this movie. And yet they just have to do it in, like, the library setting and just have to figure out a project and write down on so many paper, which is held by their school principal. And, yeah, they just have to figure out what they did in a million words saying why they were here to it, attend the detention. So, yep, that's the basic plot of The Breakfast Club. So, what do I think of The Breakfast Club? I gotta say, it was amazing. I mean, it's... For what Universal did, it was it was a decent, well-written movie. And, and, you know, many, many decades later, they would do a, well... Well, a an adaption for the Nickelodeon show Victorious which is a parody, the episode parody title question and answer is called The Breakfast Bunch. But this one version, as I'm going to say, well, for what it's worth, it was amazing. Yes, the screenplay was amazing, and the action is kind of superb, because, I mean, well, you know what it is. And you know the cast for the main players and the school principal and the janitor of the high school do an amazing job. These people who play those people do an amazing job. And, yeah. And like I said, yes, it would be... A, they would do a parody of this in the Victorious episode. Yeah, in the Nickelodeon teen Nick show Victorious. But but we've retitled... The episode would be retitled The Breakfast Bunch. But, yeah. And, yes, everything else was amazing. So, if I had to rank The Breakfast Club this version, I'm going to definitely have to say absolutely... Definitely 5 out of 5 stars, but... 
I can understand some people don't really like The Breakfast Club and probably don't want to watch it, but... Because, you know, it's full of heavy language and heavy violence and all that stuff. Because, you know, this movie is R-rated, but in the Victorious Parody episode, The Breakfast Bunch, they have mild violence and less language. But, but as of this version of The Breakfast Club, I'll just say I'll give it 5 out of 5 stars for what it was worth. It's, it's worth giving a watch, because, I mean... If you, have, if you like to see some troublemakers get into trouble and they attend a detention, this movie is worth your watch. Because, you know, I like some parts of it. And even though they did a longer version of the You Know What episode I already mentioned. And yeah. So, yep. If you guys out there have not seen The Breakfast Club, I say give it a watch. Watch it once and tell me what you guys think about it. And, and then after that, you could probably sell off and take it back to the store if you don't like this movie. But if you like this movie, then keep it around. I watch it maybe sometimes. I will watch it maybe. Because I remember watching it, it, it looked amazing. For what it was worth, it was worth a watch, and some people should definitely give it a watch. So, yep. To any of you guys out there who have not seen The Breakfast Club, definitely give it a watch. But if you guys have not seen it, and you don't plan on watching it, that's totally okay with me. But if you guys out there who have seen it and you like it, like I said, keep it around. But like I said, watch it once and see what you think of it. After that, you can sell it off if you don't like it. But if you do like this movie, keep your copy around. So yep, that's going to be it for this movie review, everyone, on The Breakfast Club. This particular movie. So yep, hopefully you guys liked it, hopefully. And hopefully give it a good review. And hopefully stick around for more movie reviews coming soon. Yep, hopefully you guys have a nice time, everyone. Yep, this is Movie and Game Love for 98, saying bye for now, and hopefully you guys like this movie review on The Breakfast Club, and hopefully you guys give it a good comment and a good review. Hopefully stick around for more movie reviews coming soon, because I need to do eventually more. And that's all for now, and bye.